Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser and I am over here. And I'm Woolly Mike and I'm over here. But together you are... A modeling for advantage! <laughs> Okay, here we go, round two. Let's have a little look at the board, shall we? The 76s have stayed put, 75s have had a casualty. Infantry have bombed it over there, but they're gonna face some resistance, because the Germies are coming to meet you. Let's see what happens, I guess. Right, so the tournament sequence remains the same. It starts with you, uh, Mike, and at the beginning, there is a starting step when you check force morale and things like that tell you that tank teams or tank platoons are fine as long as there's two or more vehicles and infantry platoons are fine as long as there's three or more so there's no risks at the moment but obviously we come to that point quite close so i'm just going to move the movement tray out of the way oh yes the movement tray and the movement tray no the dice tray the truck the tra no, i've moved the truck <laughs> yes the dice tray has been moved because i'm going to move but now i want to move my shermans yeah to get a shot on your pan uh, panzers. Oh yeah. But I can do an order called a blitz move. You can blitz. I mean, it sounds very German, but in fact, anyone yep. can do it. Anyone can play this game, right? Yep. So when you make a movement order, each um, each platoon can make a single movement order each turn. They usually happen in the movement phase, although some of them don't. They get a bit more complicated. The most common one is blitz. And you make a skill check, is that right? You roll against skill, and if you pass, you get to make a four inch move, and you did not count as moving. So, my 75 millimeter Sherman platoon have a skill of four plus. I pass. So they are gonna make a shimmy move. A shimmy move? A four shimmy. inches. My command Tanks are going to move up and get closer to your infantry. Now, I don't know what the range is, but I know that there's some Panzer Shreks and Panzer Fausts around. Mm. So I'm not going to go too close, but I'm close enough that I can have some machine gun fire on you. Some machine gun fire. Well, Panzer Faust are very close range. They're four inches. And Panzer Shrek, and that team is on the end, is eight inches. So I think I made the right move. And my infantry are going to stay put and shoot at your infantry. Excellent. So, we'll start with the firing. Start with the firing. Where would you like to begin? I'm going to... My stationary unit mm. is now in the shorter range. So I get two dice for each tank. Mm. And you are hit on four pluses. On four plus. And the only thing you've now got is cover. We've got some concealment, some yeah, concealment. from the hedge between us. So there's, uh, this is what's called low terrain. So you know, I'll move the dice tray just in the... So you've got four shots hitting on fours. That is three hits. Now, interestingly, Mike, do you want to just see if everyone can, if you can see both of those without cropping that building? Because that blocks line of sight. Yep, you can. So, so both tanks are shooting you with three hits. So you aim at this one, which means you hit it. You get to put one on this one, and then the other one has to go on the original target for the third hit. Yep. If I was not happy with that, if I made the mistaken target, I could swap these with this one. I don't really see any point in that, so we're going to leave it at that. I'll make these two saves. My armor value of a Panzer IV is a front armor of six. And my anti-tank is 10. Your anti-tank of a Sherman 75mm is 10. So that is a 9 and that is a six, 7. Neither of those are passed, so you've penetrated me twice. I'm going to reach for some fire fluff while he makes some firepower checks. I have two firepower checks at 3+. plus. Because I think this is going to go against me. <laughs> Boom! We get payback. You get some payback, Smoking Hulk. Right, that's that one. Um, I've still got a roll for this one. I'll put the that track. third hit. Here's my armor save, which is a glance. It's equal to your firepower. So you're now going to roll 
You can't destroy me, but if you pass a firepower check, you will bail out the crew. So again, three plus. You bail Indeed. Out. So this crew is bailed out. And Flames of War, they use the term bailed out, but you, the game can get feel a little bit Benny Hill with crew getting in and out of vehicles all the time. It's more that it's kind of stunned. It's like, probably miss a go, but we're going to make a morale check later. This may mean nothing, and it may mean the tank's out of action for a period. And now I'm going to check line of sight because I want to fire my 75s. Oh, I think they can all see him, yeah. They can. I was just worried about the wreck. So, so it's fours for my hit on. He's over 16, his fives, and there's concealment between his sixes. But, but you've got two shots per gun, three tanks, six shots looking for sixes. We always reroll drop dice. There's one hit. Are you going to allocate it to this one? I am going to allocate it to your... I'll arm. make my armor save, but I probably can't save against this. What's the armor piercing of the 76? The 76 well, I failed is anyway. 12. On a six, I could glance. So you yep. need to make a firepower check. Again, three plus. Oh! So he's bailed out, but not destroyed. Now, this could still be extremely bad for me, because I have no in-service tanks in that unit. And he can still shoot these if he had the op uh, something that could draw line of sight. So now I've got my two command tanks over there, mm. who I believe are within 16 inches of the infantry. They are definitely within 16 inches so of the I'm infantry. I'm firing my whole mounted machine guns. You're firing all of your machine guns. Yep. So my... The 50 cal is three dice each. Mm. And the hull mounted shirt is two dice each. Yep. Now, that the numbers only matter, the difference between those two machine gun types only matters if I have bulletproof cover, which I don't, so you can just combine all of these dice. So I have ten dice shooting your infantry. And you hit on fours, concealment five. I have three hits. You have three hits. Michael needs to allocate the hits. So presumably you want to take these three important elements on the end, which is the Zooka, the Commander, and then Most this definitely. One. Yeah. Okay. I am going to try and pass this hit on, because I want my Zooka team. So I need a three or better, which fails. So now I'm going to make the save for this guy. Three or better, he's okay. This one, three or better, he's okay. And the rifle team, three or better, he's dead. Poof! There we go. If I'd have had foxholes, or be in a building, any kind of hard cover, bulletproof cover specifically, you'd need to make a firepower check. And machine guns, they don't, it, they don't have a lot of explosive and destructive power, so they can do a lot of damage to infantry like this. But if I get to make a, if you have to make a firepower check, they've only got a six up. So they, they tend to be very ineffective at digging troops out of difficult, but troops that are moving or in the open or whatever, very vulnerable to that high rate of fire. So now I'm going to open fire on that same unit with mm. my infantry. So there's quite a few different weapon systems in this American platoon. It gets a little bit complicated. So to start with, you've got five rifle MG bases, which is what they call their normal base. They've got a rate of fire of two each. So if you're going to get that, you've got ten dice there. Yep. Um, and they're going to fire across at these guys. Um, and they're going to hit on fours, cover, fives. So this is the normal rifle bases. Yep. And we've got two hits there. Only two hits. I'll keep a running total because I'm going to have to deal with all of these hits in a minute. You made two hits. You've then got two bases of sustained fire machine guns in there. Each of those has a halted rate of fire of five. So that's another ten dice. So another ten dice rolling fives. And we have another three hits. Another three hits there. Okay, so that's a total of five hits. That's actually going to be one for every single base. But also, I'm right in believing, Mike, that if you score five hits to an right, to a infantry platoon, it becomes pinned down. So you get some effect. Even if I save all of this, the weight of fire is sufficient, they become pinned down. I'm now going to make the saves. I can't pass anything around because I can only swap with somebody who's already got a hit. So these three rifle bases for speed, I'll roll together. Two of them die. I'm then going to roll for the command team, which survives, and then for the Zooka team, 
which survives. Look at those sixes at the critical moment there. I am, however, in quite a bit of trouble here because you're not finished. So when it comes to fire your mortar, it's going to fire as artillery and it needs to range in. You're looking to range in here, but before we do that, there's another rule called danger close, which means you cannot put a place in artillery template within four inches of friendly units. So we're just going to double check that. So if you pop the acrylic token template down, that's more than four inches, so you're going to be okay to put it there. So this is where you're trying to range in. You range in on your skill, which is... Three plus. And there is a plus one because you are... The template covers other pieces of terrain, making it difficult to range in on. So he fails on the first attempt, but he gets three attempts. So you can roll for the second attempt. And that's you range hit. in on the second attempt. Ranging in on the second attempt is going to make the very first bombardment a bit lighter. That's all. So you then place the template down. And you've covered all, any units covered by the template are hit. Units of infantry that are hit by artillery are automatically pinned down, infantry and gun teams, which makes things like that little mortar really useful for suppression. And then each person's taken a hit because they're covered. Well, each person can be hit. So you're now gonna roll to hit them. They're hit on fours, cover and gun to ground don't matter. But because you are a one-gun battery, there is a reduction in performance because it's a very small battery. And because you ranged in on the second attempt, it is. And this is written on that acrylic token there, Michael. So number of weapons firing is number one or two weapons. It's re-roll or hits. So if you do hit, you have to roll again before you will hit. And ranged in on second attempt is plus one to hit. So you would hit on fours. And you're hitting on fives instead. So I roll the dice. I've rolled one five, but you've rolled one five. I have to re-roll it because I'm a single team. You do. And I don't hit. Yeah, and you don't hit. Okay. Now, next round, he's not ranging. And if I don't move and he just repeat bombardments, he can just repeat the bombardment there. It will do that again. Um, and there's also infantry have to re-roll their saves if they're under a repeat bombardment. Yep. It gets, it gets harder for them to stay there as the shelling becomes intense. And that so that's, concludes my turn. Righty ho. Let's see what the Germans have got there. Okay, so now we're going to see the starting step where we do most of the morale really take effect. I'm very worried about this German tank crew because there's actually nobody in it. There's two bailed out tanks. But the, so the sequence in which you do these things is really important. And the first thing we try and do is remount tanks. And tanks, you remount based upon a motivation check. I think it's called. Uh, and because we have protected ammo, we have a last stand, mm, last stand and remount of three plus. I thought it was just last stand for a moment, which is slightly different. Throughout Flames of War, you're going to so see... So you're going to roll individually because one of those is your yeah. commander. Indeed. So this one, the commander needs a three or more, which succeeds. So he isn't bailed out. This guy is going to roll and he needs a three or more. And he succeeds also. So like I said before, this means... More experienced units can shrug off this, and less experienced and capable units are much more affected by suppression. So these late war Germans, they're kind of 50-50, most people are. Um, if I had lost both, or one or both of those though, I ran the risk of the unit leaving the table because it wasn't a unit, because it didn't have two formed tanks in it. My infantry are also pinned down, and they need to make a say, uh, they need to make a motivation check as well which they may or may not have succeeded. I'm going to have to check their numbers. They are probably, they are confident four plus. So no, they are still pinned down, this inventory team. They're also one base away from being um, having serious morale problems. So that's that. Remount tanks, rally pin down units, check for last stand. So last stand is if you've got three, less than three infantry, less than two tanks. Formation last stand is if my whole company, my core units, I've got 
only one unit remaining, basically. If you've got two or more, you're still in the game. Um, then ambushes, reserves, aircraft, and friendly smoke markers. None of those things apply. So we can move on to my movement phase. Okay, so here we go. The Germans are going to try and be a bit clever. We're going to begin the movement phase. We're going to make a blitz move with these guys, which is a skill check. Here we go. Hop. Yes. And that's going to allow me to make four inch moves tactically. And this one is going to blitz this way. And this one, whoops, is going to blitz this way to try and force these Americans to move, to take shots at me. That is the idea here. So we just did it. We just did a bit of a recap there, just to check, because it does it does look like these guys are going to be in the way, but they are in fact in this building. I think we talked about that previously. I hope yes, we did. We agreed that that the certainly building. was something I thought we'd done. And so these guys are not blocking line of sight. So I'm wanting to shoot across there later. That's what that move was, and they count as being stationary. These guys are not going to move. This command team isn't going to move. This team, however, is going to move into that building. But it can't because it's pinned down. So these guys, however, are going to do a little bit of movement. Yes, they are. They're going to do a little bit of movement. This guy is going to move over here. Here we go. Here we go. So this team's still in the building. These guys have moved there in the hope that that has brought me to within Zooka range. <laughs> that is my hope. They've moved there, and so that's that's my mo that's my movement. Let's move on to my shooting then. Um, now, as you've moved here, did you blitz with those guys? I blitzed with them. You blitz shimmied. I so guess. I don't think I can draw a bead on them now, except over the cover. So I'm going to hit you one. It's threes because you're aggressive, up to fours for the range, and up to fives for the concealment. That is one hit. Do you want to roll your defense? So, so you're adding your armor value to this dice against my plus. firepower. Ooh. Drop dice don't count. Twelve. Twelve. Was my firepower twelve or was it eleven? My firepower is twelve. So that's a glance. I need to roll... Firepower check to bail. You have bailed out, sir. <laughs> Whoops. And these two are going to... No, it's not, because you know what else happens over 16 inches? Plus one range. Uh, you, your defense, the defender's armor value increases by one. Yeah. So actually, that's not a bailout. Whoa, well okay. remembered there. Sorry. So these two blitz so can still fire. They're shooting at the long range at the 76s. And so they're going to hit on your threes, long range, four, crossing um, the cover, fives. Yep. Or crossing the concealment, partially obscured. I uh, get a single hit. That'll be at the near one. So again, I've got anti tank power on the Panzers is 11. Uh, and you have armor oh, seven for my suspense. seven up to eight for the range. Yeah, easily bounces off. Doing that's those guys dealt with. I'm gonna Panzer Faust you. The Panzer Shrek, like a lot of infantry weapon teams, is slow firing. What does that mean, Mike? You have to add plus one to the dice roll. Add one to the dice target, target. number. So your aggressive threes. And I'm shooting at you uh, with a slow firing weapon. I move, so it's force. That is a hit. And a Panzer Shrek, whoosh, has an anti tank power of 12. Against my front armor of six. So I need you need that six, six again. I'm, Look I'm, into that six. Where's the six? Oh, it let you down. End. But I have to make a firepower check, and it's usually only five up for infantry anti tank weapons. So it's only a bail. I'll get to that. I'll get to it. Bonk. Um. Now the rest of that squad also got to fire, but I think only one base was eligible to fire over there. And it's going to hit those paras on fives, and it doesn't get a hit, so that's that. These guys get to use their laggardly, laggardly infantry rate of fire across there. The two teams... What does the pin down do to them when they fire? It means they fire as their moving rate of fire. So they're uh, shooting with two dice in the case of my units, hitting you on fours because I'm just stationary and you don't have any cover from these guys. That is three, three hits. hits. 
So that's going to be one, two, three, I think. So that is your mortar team, a rifle team, and a bazooka team. Considering where they are, I'm not going to transfer any of them. Okay, so do you want to make your saves? So mortar team are good. Is good. My bazooka is oh. not good. And my infantry is good. Zooka! Zoosh! Nurses are all cheering, they've killed something. Right, I think that's the end of my turn. Okay. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description. But a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whirling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you. <laughs> You're 8.1 inches away. <laughs> and it's about the same here. Uh, right, what am I going to do That's with this? I'm not bad considering I estimated that. I was yeah. thinking, I, I couldn't remember what it was, but I think. Uh,